Praise Lord. We all welcome you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. May God bless each and every person in this evening. As we all know, we are unable to gather together in church because of the rule, uh, because of the restrictions of the government on the present third way which is going on. But even though God has given this medium to worship Him and to praise Him, wherever you are, can you all just lift our voices and to the heaven above in this evening and praise that living God and worship that living God for all His wonderful deeds in this year. One more week, the God has given us an opportunity to be in His presence and praise Him and worship His holy name. Can we all thank Him? Can we all praise Him? Can we all just give all the glory and honor to His name? Of course, there are so many difficult times, often difficult situations right now going on in this country, in our city. But God is good. Always He is good. Can we all just thank Him, thank Him, thank Him for everything, everything whatever the God has done in our life. Worship His holy name. Praise His holy name. Lord, we welcome you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We glorify your name, Jesus. You are our living God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Lord, there is none like you, Lord. There is no one else like you. You are our living Father. We worship you, Jesus. We praise your name. We praise your name. We praise your name. We praise your name, Lord. Lord, we welcome you, Father, in our midst in this evening. Father, we may, we cannot gather in one place to worship you, but Father, Lord, your Holy Spirit, God is ministering each and every place wherever people are gathering in, in this online medium. Lord Jesus, you do your mighty miracles, you do mighty works in each and everyone's life, Father. We welcome you, we welcome you, we welcome you, Lord, we welcome you, Lord, we welcome you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Lord, praise you, Lord, praise you, Lord, praise you, Lord, praise you, Jesus. We we worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We glorify your name, everyone, wherever you are. Can we all lift our hands heaven above and worship his holy name? Praise his holy name. Lift up his name on high. Jesus, we worship you. Jesus, we worship you. Jesus, we worship you. Jesus, we worship you, Lord. We glorify your name, Father. Lord, in this time, we surrender ourselves into your hands. You are our living God. You are our living God. Our hope and our faith is in you alone, Lord. What are the difficulties? What are the time, situations going on in this time? But Father, we just believe you are in our midst. In this time, Father, we surrender this worship time. We surrender the preaching time. We surrender this entire service into your hands, Father, Lord. You bless this day. Bless each and every one who joined through online, Lord. Let this day be a blessed day for each and every person. Minister to us in this day, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We give all the glory and honor to you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Once again, let's all stand together where we are and worship our living God as we sing two or three songs and worshiping the living God. Let's give thanks to the Lord, our God and King, for His love endures forever and ever. He is so good. He is an awesome God. You know, we may be going to difficult times, but He is always there. He's always there in our midst. He's too there. Let's all together come to His come to His presence and worship Him. Clap His hands and glorify His name as we are singing this song. As give thanks to the Lord. To the Lord, our God and King, His love endures forever. For He is good, He is above all things. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, our God and King, His love endures forever. For He is good, He is above all things. His love endures forever. Sing prayer, sing prayer, sing prayer, sing prayer with a mighty hand and nostalgic arm. His love endures forever for the life that's 
been reborn His love endures forever With a mighty hand and all stands down His love endures forever For the life that's been reborn His love endures forever I sing praise Sing praise Sing praise Sing praise Forever God is faithful Forever God is strong Forever God is with us God is faithful, forever God is strong, forever God is with us, forever and ever. His love endures forever, His love endures forever, all together. His love endures forever, His love endures forever. And sing praise, sing praise, sing praise, sing praise. From the rising sun to the setting sun, His love endures forever. By the grace of God, we will carry on His love and just forever All together From the rising sun to the setting sun His love and just forever By the grace of God, we will carry on His love and just forever I Sing praise Sing praise Sing praise, sing praise, all together sing praise, sing praise, sing praise, sing praise, sing praise, forever God is faithful. God is strong forever God is with us forever and ever all together forever God is faithful forever God is strong forever God is with us forever and ever is love and just for a all together can we sing and loudly and praise God love and just forever is love and just forever once again is love and just forever I sing praise sing praise we sing praise Sing praise, sing praise, sing praise, sing praise. Let's all clap our hands and glorify the Lord. Worship your name, Jesus. We worship your name, Lord. We glorify your name, Father. We are in your midst. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Our living God, we worship you. The Lord of all lords, we worship you. The King of all kings, we worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Where are you, my dear brother, my dear sister? If it is possible, you can just put one hand on your chest and raise one hand to the heaven above and just lift from the presence of that living God. He is in our midst. He is watching upon you. He is seeing you. The God who knows your heart. The God who understands you. The God who will take care of you. He is in our midst in this time. Can we all just worship Him? Praise His holy name. Lord, here we are to worship you. Maybe we are not in the church, but 
the place where you are the god is there and your heart is the temple of that living god just take this time to worship his living name to worship his wonderful name to worship his beautiful name is in our midst we thank you jesus lord we worship you lord we praise your name lord light of the world we came into this world lord and lord you have seen us you have watched us our pain you are still there next to us in this world no one is watching or no one is seeing us but father lord you are always seeing you are always watching over us you know everything of your people lord what we can hide to you lord nothing we can hide so that's what we are just here lord to worship you we just give to you everything here i am to worship here i am to bow down here i am to say that you're my god you're all together lovely all together worthy all together wonderful to me so here i am to worship here i am to bow down here i am to say that you're my god you're all together lovely all together worthy all together wonderful to me light of the world you step down into darkness open my eyes let me see beauty that men this heart adore you hope of a life spent with you light of the world light of the world you step down into darkness open my eyes let me see beauty that men this heart adore you hope of a life spent with you here i am to worship here i am to bow down here i am to say that you're my god you're all together lovely all together worthy all together wonderful to me so here i am to worship here i am to bow down here i am to say that you're my god you're all together lovely worthy all together wonderful to me to see my sin upon that cross i lay one on how much it cost to see my sin upon that cross so here i am to worship here i am to bow down here i am to say that you're my god you're all together all together all together wonderful to all together let's all worship him so here i am to worship here i am to bow down here i am to say that you're my god you're all together lovely 
all together one day, all together wonderful to me. You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. Shall we all together confess this word alone? You're all together love you, Lord. You're all together worthy, Lord. Together, can we tell this word alone and just worship His name? You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. You're all together lovely, all together worthy. All together wonderful to me. Are you all together, lovely Lord? You're all together worthy, Jesus. You're so wonderful, God. Lord, I long for you, Lord, in this evening. I long for you, Lord. I long for you alone. You are my everything. You alone are my strength. You alone my all things, Lord. Everyone praise. Where are you, are, my dear brother, my dear sister? Praise him. Praise him. Praise his wonderful name. As you're praising him. As you're worshipping him. He's a God. When all you call upon him, he's there. His mighty hand is upon you. You worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. In this the dew pan it for the water, so my soul longeth after thee. You alone are my heart. Desire and I long to worship you as the young, as the deep and tall. The water so my soul longeth after thee. You alone are my heart, desire. To worship you. You alone are my shield, my shield. To you alone may my spirit dream. You alone are my heart's desire. friend my all together confess together Lord, you are my friend my brother you are my everything even though he's a king even though he is a mighty powerful god he is a friend as a brother to you and me what a wonderful god he is you are my friend and you are my brother even though you are a king So much more than anything. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone may my spirit dream. You alone are my heart, desire. 
Praise your name. We worship your name. You are all great God. You are all living God. We thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. Lord, thank you, Father, for your wonderful presence in this time. Thank you, Lord, for all your goodness and mercy, Lord. Lord, we surrender this worship into your hands. Lord, you are my, our brother, our friend, our everything, our Father. Even though you are King of Kings, even though you are Lord of Lords, even though you are the God of this universe, Lord, you are always there with us, next to us. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for everything, Lord. We surrender this time into your hands. We surrender our entire worship into your hands, Father. Bless each and every person who joined in this time into your own land. Lord, as we are going to listen to the word of God, in the, all, all the sessions of the service, you will be with, it, with us, Lord. We give all the glory and honor to your name. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. I request now to the Raja to come forward and read a Bible verse. I request you, wherever you are, to read, to stand on your feet when brother comes forward and read the Bible for us. Praise the Lord. Let us turn our Bibles to the book of Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 19 to 23. Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 19 to to 23. Let us read together. Surely your waste and your desolate places and your devastated land, surely now you will be too narrow for your inhabitants and those who swallowed you up will be far away. The children of your bereavement will yet say in your ears, the place is too narrow for me. Make room for me to dwell in. Then you will say in your heart, who has borne me this. I was bereaved and barren, exiled and put away. But who has brought up these? Behold, I was left alone. From where I have these come? Thus says the Lord. Behold, I will lift up my hand to the nations. I will raise my signal to the people. And they shall bring your sons in your arms. And your daughters shall be carried in your shoulders. Kings shall be your foster fathers, and their queens your nurses' mothers. With their faces to the ground, they shall bow down to you and lick the dust of your feet. Then you will know that I am the Lord. Those who wait for me shall not put to the shame. May God bless you by these words. Praise the Lord. Once again, we welcome you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I hope you all have had a good day in this time. May the God's presence be with you all continuously. Full life assembly of God Church welcomes you once again in this time, in this morning. As we could not gather in one place, but we are worshiping through online. Pray continuously and worship God continuously. And God will do great things for each one of you. And uh, we have a few announcements. As we all know, every Sunday morning, 6 to 6.30, we will be having Zoom prayer. Please do participate in the Zoom prayer. And every Saturday evening, we have teen services. And Sunday afternoon, we'll be having Sunday school through Zoom. So please do participate. And if you are want to but join our group in the fellowship and daily prayers, you can join us. You can see in the description our phone number. You can contact to us for any prayer request for anything. We are always there for your prayer. We are always there for your fellowship. And all the special students, we are praying for you all. In this pandemic time, it's a difficult time. But in every Wednesday evening, we are gathering. But as of now, we'll be having in Zoom. Uh, the prayer every Wednesday evening 6 30 to 7 30 the students fellowship will be happening as usual please do join in that also and god will do great things and mighty things in your life in this day also pray continuously for delhi city and the, our country also because of this omicron virus there are so many news we are hearing but god is faithful and he will lead us and guide us continuously may god be with you all and this is the time to invest in the god's kingdom our tithes and offerings and mission offerings wherever you can as we could not gather, uh, we don't want to uh, uh, miss the opportunity for all to invest in God's kingdom. So we are 
we have providing you QR code and the bank details and the phone pay, Google pay, phone number also up on the screen right now. It will be on the screen. And when we are singing this song, God is good all the time, uh, you can invest in God's kingdom through the uh, only other online payment modes, wherever which is possible for you. And may God bless you continuously. This God is always good. You know, it seems when we go like these situations, we seem so many difficulties, so many thoughts will come. But we have to remember all the time this, whatever the valleys we do go, whatever the situations, whatever the hard is, God is always good. He's always good. All the time He is so good. So let's all confess this. Confess and with the confession we'll all sing together. In the same time we will give to the God our offerings and tithes and bless the Lord. God is good all the time. He put a song of praise in this heart of mine. God is good all the time. Through the darkest night, His light will shine. God is good. God is good all the time. God is good. All the time, through the darkest night, His light will shine. God is good all the time. He put a song of praise in this heart of my God is good. God is good all the time. If you're walking through the valley, and there are shadows all around do not fear he will guide you he will keep you safe and sound because he promised to never leave you nor forsake you and his word is true god is good all the time he put a song of praise in this heart of mine god is good all the time through the darkest night his light will shine god is good god is good all the time god is good god is good all the time. Father, we thank you, Jesus. So you are so good and so awesome. Lord, once again, we come to your throne of grace, Father. All the people who have invested in your kingdom through their tithes and offerings, Lord, bless them abundantly in this time. Lord, we also pray for each and every one, all the people, for their protection in, their, in these times, Lord. Lord, may you be with each and every person. Lord, in this time, we pray in the name of Jesus for our pastor, Ashish Abraham, Lord. You be with him continuously. And Lord, speak to us in this evening through him, Lord. Let your word of God printed through his mouth to each and every person's life. And Lord, you speak to all. And let this day be a blessed day for each and every one, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. We have today Pastor Ashish Abraham in our midst. Uh, he is a man of God who is ministering all over our country from past 20, more than 20 years and it's a blessing for all of us for him to be in our midst in this time let's all open our heart in this time to listen to the word of God and God will do great things in each and every person's life he is he's going to come forward for us right now and ministering to us and let's all open our hearts together may God bless each and every person we welcome you Pastor Abraham right now thank you Praise the Lord. I greet all of you in the name of Jesus. It's such a joy and a privilege that we all can come together in the presence of the Lord. Even though, again, there is a curfew and there's a lockdown, we are not able to gather together in the church, but we are so happy that our God, who is an Emmanuel, the Jehovah Shammah, uh, the God who is always with us, you know, he is always with us. And even today, when we are sitting in our home, and online we are watching and participating in the service. Uh, I do believe that the same God who is here is also there at your home. If you believe, say amen. 
give glory to God because God is with us and we don't have to be uh, like worried that what is happening around the world uh, and because of that we are not able to come to church. Uh, we do believe that if for everything there is a God's plan and God's time. Even in the last days there will be uh, perilous times and uh, all this uh, the happening is already written in the Bible. So I want to uh, wish all of you a very happy new year and uh, along with that a very safe uh, stay this throughout the year because this year again we are going to uh, see so many things which our eyes have not seen, our ears have not heard, it has not entered in our mind. We don't know what's the thing for worldly people that could be a different thing but for the God's people it is an excitement because God's promises are there with us. Amen. This whole week uh, and this new year, we have started to meditate upon the God's word. And what is the word of God says? In, uh, we have been reading and meditating the Isaiah chapter 54, verses 2 and 3. So this morning again, this evening, as we are uh, meditating on God's word, let's read Isaiah chapter 54, verse 2 and 3. It says that, enlarge the place of your tent and let them stretch out the curtain of your dwelling. Do not spare, lengthen your cord and strengthen your stakes for you shall expand to the right and to the left and your descendants will inherit the nation and make the desolate cities inhabited. God's will is that we should inherit this nation. Amen. If you believe, say amen. God's word is always there to help us, to strengthen us, to to give us the courage that whatever may come in our way, nothing is going to stop us. This is the power of the word of God. And this word, when we read that, it says that God wants us to see enlarge, to grow more and to expand to the left and right. If you are doing a business, God wants you to grow in your business. If you are doing some studies, God wants to see that you are grow, studying more and you are achieving some higher places which you have never thought about. And this evening, as we see the word of God, the promises of God are always big. It, it is so much bigger that sometimes our human mind does not accept. It doesn't accept that this could happen to me. Sometimes we are not believing the God's word. God always promises and man many times or mostly is doubting only. But this evening, we are going to see that how we are going to inherit the promises. This is my title for the message this evening, how to inherit the promise. We see from the life of Abraham, Abraham is our main character in the Bible. He is our father of the nation, he is father of all true believers. Because God has said that through Abraham only all the generations are going to be blessed. And when we see the life of Abraham, God called him at the age of 75. I don't know at what age God called you, but God called me when I was 18 year old. And for last 28 years, it is my blessing, which I say that it is God who has blessed me. And these last 20 years, I'm walking with him and he's with me and helping me to move forward in the midst of whatever may come. So Abraham was called at the age of 75 and God blessed him. In the Genesis chapter 12, we read all the sevenfold blessings God gave to Abraham. And sometimes we are always confessing those blessings. Yes, it is the Lord's plan to bless us. But at the age of 75, when God called Abraham, and after that we read and we read and we come to the chapter 15, again God is confirming that I am going to give you. But when God is promising there's a doubt is coming or there's a question coming in the mind of Abraham. Let's read that portion. Genesis chapter 15 verses 7 and 8. In Genesis chapter 15 verse 7 and 8 he said that then he said to him, it means God is saying to Abraham, I am the Lord who brought you out of Ur of Chaldeans to give you this land to inherit it. See God has a big plan. God has called you and me. Whatever the age, maybe uh, when God called us, 
there's no limit of the age sometimes god has called a small boy like a samuel he was a very young sometimes god called even from the mother's womb like john the baptist he was in the womb but sometimes god has called like abraham at the age of 75 sometimes god called moses when he was 80 year old so when god is calling he is calling with a purpose and what is his purpose you know his plans are that i want to i want you to inherit this land to abraham god said i want to give you the canaan canaan was the promised land which they are called to inherit that for you and me god has given us all the blessings in this world we need to inherit that we are reading it yes we are reading it we are hearing it we are again and again you know we are enjoying the blessings when we hear the the powerful messages sometimes we get so much excited and we say yes lord amen but after some time we we forget also sometimes we don't trust also and we may think that this word is not for me this word could be for somebody else this word could be for somebody else not for me but it's not true everyone who is believer everyone who is called by god god has a big plan that that which your our eyes have not seen which our ears have not heard it is not entered in our mind but god has blessed already god has prepared already and this is what we need to trust so when god called to abraham and he said that i want to inherit it the same god is calling you and me saying that i have a big plan for you now you need to inherit that but see again the same question the genesis chapter 15 verse 8 now abraham is saying that abraham is saying lord god how shall i know that i will inherit that abraham had a doubt even if you and i also doubt that's okay sometimes we question god how are we going to inherit because we don't see something practical happening in our life for last so many years sometimes we have heard so many blessings word promises word but still we don't feel that yes something is happening in my life in my life also god promised so many things 18 years before uh, 28 years before when i was 18 year old god gave me the promises i didn't believe i said that that could be just a word maybe somebody they made they want me to believe what they are saying but in these 28 years i have seen one by one in its right time whenever the time comes uh, god is fulfilling all the promises accordingly whatever god has said that has happened that is happening and remaining promises also is going to be fulfilled in my life i believe that if you believe you can say amen for you just last year we moved to delhi after 28 years that was promised by god that i'll be moving to delhi and this happened last year so i i am excited to tell that how god is our fulfilling god the god who gave the promise to abraham god has promised to me god has promised to you and in this year we have a promise that god is going to enlarge our church is going to be enlarged the ministry is going to enlarge everyone who believes and call by god if you believe this word you can say amen that yes god this year i am going to see something going to be amazing thing and how this is possible this is the question abraham said how i'm going to how shall i know that i will inherit that when we read in the bible there are many people who are called by god they didn't believe it and the big number is of the israelite people we read in the bible in the exodus when god called all the 600 uh, uh, 600000 or uh, 6 lakh people the men and all together with the wives and the children there were almost 20 lakhs of population they were living in bondage all the israelite living in bondage for almost like a 400 years their mentality has become like the bonded slave people only but god had a big plan for them god said that i have prepared a land for you a land which flows with the milk and honey and god said to moses you go and redeem my people you go and talk to pharaoh and redeem my people and lead them toward the canaan the land which i have prepared for them yes dear brothers and sisters my friends god has prepared something for you 
that land of Canaan was such a fruitful land, the beautiful land, the land which God promised to Abraham. At that time when Abraham, he went to the Canaan, it was just a barren land. There was nothing at that time. That's why Sodom and Gomorrah, Lord choose that place. Because Sodom and Gomorrah was more greener in during those days. And Lot, he left Abraham and he went to the other side, not to the Canaan. And Abraham went to the Canaan when God said, this is the land which I have given for you. And God was preparing that land, you know. God was preparing. The generations were preparing. And God blessed it. So the Canaan was ready. The Canaan was full of the fruits. The pomegranates were there. The grapes were there. And all the rich blessings were there. But people were not prepared to enter in that land. We read that in the Bible verse, Hebrews chapter 3, verse 16 to 19. Hebrews chapter 3, verse 16 to 19, it says that, For who, having heard, rebelled? Indeed, was it not all who came out of Egypt, led by Moses? Now with whom was he angry forty years? Was it not with those who sinned, whose corpses fell in the wilderness? And to whom did he swear that they would not enter his rest? But to those who did not obey. So we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief. So the Bible says here that even though the Canaan was prepared, it was ready for all these days, all these years God was preparing, but people were not able to enter. The people who were supposed to reach from Egypt to Canaan, it was only 40 days. That is what the Bible scholars, they say. 40 days was the, was the distance, but instead of 40 days, it took for them 40 years because they were not prepared. They were not believing. And it says that they rebelled against God, actually. They rebelled. Sometimes we are also like that. This evening, as we are hearing the God's word, the promises which God has given us are amazing promise. This year, God wants to see that you and I will continue to grow, will continue to flourish. We are going to expand. We are going to enlarge all these promises, the 15 promises that throughout the last week we have been hearing and confessing and will continue to confess this is only possible when we obey God, not rebel against God. Like Israelites, they hardened their hearts. They were stiff-necked people. Even though they saw God literally as the clouds above them, they saw God in the pillars of fire in the night and in the day the clouds they were enjoying the manna every day. They, are enjoying, they were drinking the water, the pure mineral water, not like the RO water what we are drinking, drinking today. Pure mineral water. And all those blessings they were enjoying, but still they rebelled God. My dear brothers and sisters, my friends, let's think about ourselves. How many times we have rebelled? When I check myself, I see that many times, whatever God has said, I was not willing to do. Sometimes I, I have also rebelled, but I ask forgiveness. I said, Lord, you forgive me and help me that I will be an obedient to you. This is what God is looking at you and me this evening. Are we really looking forward this year to inherit the promise? So what we need to do, the first of all, that we need to say that, Lord, I want to be an obedient one. Not like this, like they sinned, they did not obey, they were unbelieved, everything was there. And they could not reach. Out of the six lakhs of the male, those who are the adult males, only two, the Joshua and Caleb, they entered the land. And what happened to the rest? They just, they dead. They died in the wilderness in this 40 years. Only those small children, the other children who grown up, they inherited the land in the later time, during the time of Joshua and Caleb leadership. So we see in the Bible, there are many people who received the promises of God, those who had the many promises with them, but they could not inherit because of their unbelief. Let me tell you one more person. It's about the Esau, the elder son of Isaac. God said in the Old Testament that the elder son, the firstborn, is supposed to get the double fold. 
that is the promise of god when we read in the old testament god said all the first born will be receiving the double fold the double blessing the double portion of their father and he was supposed to receive from isaac the double fold but what happened he despised that he said that who cares for the all the double fold blessing i don't want to be the first born there is no use to become a first born he despised his first born the first birth right but jacob was so thirsty jacob was so hungry that he want to be the first born he said that you please you just stay with my by one word that i am your elder brother see many time we don't inherit the promises because we are careless we neglect or we ignore it but the word of god when we read in this bible you know the bible promises all the good things there is no lack for those who trust god there is no lack for those who believe in god and these promises are true and they they are the amen in the word of god for those who trust and obey and this is what this evening we are looking at the word how we are going to inherit that so let's see that how we need to do we we read in the verse uh, uh, in the psalms 37 verse 9 in psalms 37 verse 9 it says that for evil doers shall be cut off but those who wait upon the lord they shall inherit the earth the bible says that those who wait upon the lord they will inherit the earth even though the promises are given to every one of us all the people in the church and everyone who believes it and everyone who reads the bible everyone in this world they have the promises with them but do we really inherit that that is the main point that is the main message what i want to share with you this evening are we really inheriting that or not so how can we inherit that not just listen not just see but let us inherit that and what we need to do the number one the main thing is waiting upon the lord we need to wait upon the lord waiting upon the lord is a big subject and we need to keep learning because the days the culture the century the era where we are living now it is everything is a fast we want everything fast we want it now we want it now we want to see anything we want it now if we want to get it we want it now we don't want to wait for anything but the bible talks about the waiting it is a blessing in waiting and therefore god wants us to learn how to wait upon the lord many time we are waiting for so many other thing for example in the airport in the railway station in the any other place where we go we know that we have to wait for 2 hours 3 hours sometime it get delays and we are waiting and waiting because we know it's going to come but for the god and his promises some people they just leave it they do not want to wait upon god but let's not do like that this evening let's commit ourselves let's say that yes lord i am going to wait upon you i don't know to whom this word is meaningful and applicable god has promised you so many thing even in last year even in the past years god was speaking to you but sometime we got discouraged we said that this is not going to possible and we have left it without trusting or without confessing but this year again god is reminding you god is speaking to you my brother god is speaking to you my sister and god is saying to you wait upon the lord it is god's perfect time in his perfect time he is going to do for you amen because in bible we see that for god everything he has made a time there is some appointed time for everything we cannot be in hurry we cannot ask him to do it beforehand because god have his own time god has put everything in his own time and we need to understand and how is possible when we read the bible we understand the timing for everything there is a time even jesus was born in the due time galatians chapter 4 verse 4 it says that in the due time jesus was born he was also waiting for his perfect time till the age of 30 until the age of 30 he was waiting patiently and be obedient to his parents think about that even though at the age of 12 he was so mature he knew how to argue with the all the uh, the scribes in the temple he knew everything at the age of 12 also but jesus 
he was waiting till the age of 30 so in the bible we need to learn that for everything there is a time and for time when we honor the time the time will also honor the earth if we respect the time the time will respect us so that's what we are learning that those who wait on the lord they shall inherit the earth and what is the meaning of waiting upon the lord let me give you some example for example of the waiter when we we have seen waiters in the hotels when we go for some dinner uh, for lunch dinner or some restaurants we see some waiters are always watching us they are just waiting upon us they are just eager to take the order and when once we have given the order you know they are just eager enough to deliver the 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 food on our table and then they are again waiting on us that do we need anything else that is the work of a waiter a waiter is not commanding his master that you do like that or do this or do that many times people i have met in my life those who command god that order god that god you need to do that you need to do that like like if god is waiting upon us for the order but my dear brothers and sisters my friends think about this evening how many time we have ordered god or how many time we have said that lord you speak to me i am waiting upon you i am waiting for you and this is the one example i'm i'm going to share with you about the life of uh, the abraham that he waited patiently at the age of 75 he got the promises and for 25 years he was waiting and waiting and waiting even though he took different steps in between but still he waited for the promises of god and at the age of 100 it happened it happened because it was the perfect time god kept it many times we need to understand realize that god has a plan beautiful and in his own time maybe some of you are are thinking about your marriage some of you are thinking about your job some of you are thinking to purchase a home maybe whatever you are thinking if you are waiting upon the lord asking for his direction asking for his guidance lord you tell me what should i do where should i go whom should i meet and i tell you god is the one who will direct your step it is the god who is going to make bring the opportunities in front of you and when you will wait upon the lord it is god who said that i am going to make it for you amen if you believe it you can say amen this year you are going to see something amazing if you wait upon the lord and said that lord i am not going to do it by my our own mind or our my own understanding but i am fully trusting you lord like the psalm 123 in psalm 123 verse 2 it says that behold as the eyes of servant look to the hand of their masters as the eyes of the maid to the hand of their mistress so our eyes look to the lord our god until he has mercy on us are we really watching like that are we really doing like this think about that waiting upon the lord it means every day when we begin when we get up from our bed we bow before him and we say that lord thank you for giving me this another day help me o oh lord and tell me what should i do waiting upon the lord it means that lord help me and tell me how i should go and where should i go and how should i do that what god wants us to do many thing god has already told us what to do it is in the word of god every day what we need to do many things are already clearly written we need to be hard working we need to be hard working and we also need to be wise to understand the times what is happening in this world we need to be very humble this all the things what god has already told us to do we need to pray and say that lord help me to do that help me to do that today what you have called me to do some of you are studying some of you are perceiving your career some of you are praying for your life partner some of you are are thinking about uh, some changing of the job but are we really dependent on god or dependent upon our own understanding in this world where everything is so much fishy only god can take us to the right place my dear brother my dear brothers my dear sisters my dear friend it is god who is going to lead you in the right path and if we trust god i tell you that you will never be ashamed my god is going to fulfill 
all that he has said in his word when we wait upon the lord waiting upon the lord let me give you another example how are we waiting upon the lord there are two uh, family story and uh, i want to put it before you once there were two husbands two husbands they were in a office and the third one was asking that are you not going to your home so the first one said that no i do not want to go my home because my wife is waiting for me that poor third person he third guy he was unmarried the first two guys were the married so the when the guy who heard that uh, this person doesn't want to go his home because his wife is waiting he couldn't understand so he asked the second one why you want to, wh- what do you think so he said that i just want to go my home soon enough at 5 o'clock the office is closed so he said that as soon as the 5 is so come i'm going to run my home because my wife is waiting for me so that guy got amazed one husband is saying i do not want to go my home because my wife is waiting and the second husband he is saying that i want to run to my home because my wife is waiting now why why these two two story differently because the first person who said that i do not want to go because his wife he know his wife sleeping for the whole day doing nothing at the home waiting for his husband to come back and do all the housework and cooking also so his wife is like that he know his wife is like that i'm not saying that every wives are like that don't be afraid but there are some those who do not want to do anything but they are they are waiting for their husband to come home and do everything for them yes so this is like that one story but the another husband said i want to run to my home because i know my wife she is a very hard worker she has done everything at the home she has prepared so much of delicious food for me she she has cooked something best dishes for this day i can't wait at office anymore i just want to rush back to my home because she is waiting for me my dear this is just an example to tell you about the waiting how are we waiting today to for god when god is looking at you and me how are we waiting when we come in front of god when we come in the presence of the lord and we say that lord i am waiting for you for what are we waiting are we waiting god to do our our work sometime you know we throw all our burden on him even our responsibilities also we throw at him and we say that god i am waiting for you to do the things but the some other people they say that lord whatever you have told me to do i have done it help me o oh lord what should i do next these are the two type of believers i have met in my last 28 years both are praying both are waiting but the both of their waiting has a different meaning of their waiting one is just waiting so that god will do everything for me and that is a different story once i met with a husband who was doing nothing he was sleeping at a home all the time his wife she got upset and uh, she asked me that pastor please come and counsel my husband he is not doing any work at all he is not going for a job so i went and i talked to him that why you are not doing for job why you left all your job you know what he said he said that in bible it is written my god will feed the even the sparrows if my god will feed the sparrows why will not he feed me why should i go for a job my god will feed me these are the people who gave their responsibility also to god only they are not willing to do their homework their task i explain god give the power to wings to bird to fly and do their basic work never put their food in their nest god is not going to give you food on your bed he has given you the strength he will give you the Praise wisdom Lord, he will give you the power hallelujah so god will give you something to strength to overcome all the situation it is god who is giving us the wisdom and the power to do the work of what god is given. and that is what we need to wait upon the lord and ask for the god that god you give me the wisdom that i will do this thing in my life 
So today we are hearing about waiting upon the Lord and waiting upon the Lord is something an amazing and a big subject in the Bible we need to trust we need to believe that everything God has prepared already we need to wait upon the Lord and while waiting it means that we are not becoming lazy we need to do all the responsibilities what God has given us to do and then wait upon the Lord that Lord in your time in your perfect time you are going to fulfill everything for me let us read for that uh, hebrews chapter 11 hebrews chapter 6 i'm sorry hebrews chapter 6 verse 11 and 12 here the bible says we want each of you to show the same diligence to the very end so that what you hope for may be fully realized we do not want you to become lazy but to imitate those who through faith and patience inherit what has been promised the bible here clearly tells us it tells us that we must not become lazy and there are many lazy people who do not want to do their responsibility do not want to achieve what god has given them but there are many people there are so many believers who are trying who are committed and that is what bible says that imitate those who through faith and patience both we need faith is an action faith is a verb faith is not just a noun faith is a verb faith is an action we need to do something if we say that i believe it then you must behave it also like that when you you pray you need to practice that also when you pray that lord i need a wisdom to do this by faith you need to take a step to practice that also and god will definitely give the wisdom that we need for it and when we pray the god gives the power and also we need a patience that patiently we need to wait upon the lord that in the lord's perfect timing he is going to do the miracle for you and me so this evening as we are listening as we are hearing what is your plan of god and god said that i want to bless you with all this 15 blessings and we are reading that are we really going to inherit that or not so what we need to do let us wait upon the lord wait patiently to him every day morning when we get up let us bow before him and say that lord thank you that you have promised me you have said that you will restore me lord i believe it and i am going to start back the restoration process and you have said that lord you will prevail me before your sight so help me that i will always stay in front of you and when god has said that the verse three, the third promise my god will use me as his mouth So let's commit that saying that lord i give my mouth i submit my mouth my mouth is no longer belong to me but it will be your mouthpiece so i will speak only the words which you want me to speak which your word says so what the bible says i'm going to speak i will never speak any vulgar word i will not speak any abusing word i will not use my mouth for any cheating or any other abusing or negative word but my mouth will speak only what you want me to speak this is the faith action faith in action faith in prayer we are praying to god that lord use my mouth for your purpose but faith in action is giving your mouth for god's work amen so this is the way we need to all we need to practice all the 15 bible verses what god has said that this year god is going to bless me and i am going to wear it as an ornament it means the blessing will be visible on your outside when people will see you they will say yes you are a blessed man amen and how this will happen you start to behave like that behave like that your life should be a life of blessing to all other people and when they see you they will get encouraged when they talk to you there must be some passion in their life and that will flow through you So this evening the waiting upon the Lord is a very big subject and we are learning how to do that and the waiting it also means that let us read one more verse waiting what does it mean first john chapter 3 verse 2 and 3 very important when we wait upon the lord as a true believer our waiting is not only to receive the materialistic blessing on this earth but also the second coming of christ that is the true sign of a believer as a true believer we all know that we are living in the last days and as we are living in the last days we know that all these things what is happening in this world 
it is already written we need not to be worried but we also we need to be prepared for the second coming of christ so we need to pray for that and we need to prepare with that promises so what it says let us read first john chapter 3 verse 2 and 3 beloved now we are children of god and it has not yet been revealed what we shall be but we know that when he is revealed we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is and everyone who has this hope in him purifies himself just as he is pure so bible here it says that if you hope in the lord if you wait in the lord for what we are waiting we are waiting for his second coming also we are waiting for his coming we all believe that he is going to come soon amen if you believe you can say amen with me he is going to come soon but what we are doing if we are truly waiting we need to keep purifying ourselves this is what bible says if we are waiting upon the lord not just to get the material blessing of this world but we also need to say that lord i want to purify in this new year lord i want to be more pure in last year we might have fallen many times we all fail we all fail for many times but you know what we need to wait upon the lord and we say that this year lord help me that i restore my holiness for this is what jesus came he came us to restore our fellowship with the father the number one thing my god will restore me the restoration the reconciliation everything whatever i lost in the past year some of us we have lost our holiness in the past year this year god want us to restore the holiness and god want to see you and me a living a life of a holiness and that is what we need to pray and this is what those who have hope in the lord they will purify themselves just as he is pure my god is so great and amazing so my beloved ones my dear ones my brothers and sister my friends this evening as we have heard who will inherit the promise the promises of the god are sure and they are unchanging but are we really prepared for that canaan was ready the canaan was ready for god's with god's blessing but people were not ready for the canaan god was waiting for all those 40 years for the people but people were not ready for that purpose let's commit ourselves and let's pray that lord this year I want to be prepared. I want to wait upon you and I want to inherit the blessing what you have promised. And all that what Bible have promised in past years also, this year also, Lord, I wait upon you. Because you are the God who can give me the strength and the power. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, this evening Lord, we come to thy throne of grace. We are thankful to you God because you are the God of promises. You are the God who makes the covenant and you are always willing more than willing to fulfill that in our life but lord we come to your throne and we repent to lord many time we have rebelled like israelite many time we disobeyed like the israelite many time we have sinned in the past year but this year lord today we commit once again we rededicate our life to lord and we pray oh lord help us to wait upon you lord we come to thy throne of grace and we wait upon you to hear the instructions from you lord every day when we open our bible we wait upon you to speak to us the lord speak to us the lord your servant we are hearing lord when we come to your presence the lord we wait upon you and we seek your power as today we have read help us the lord that we may inherit the promised land we thank you and we praise you because you are the god of promise and this throughout this year all the promises that you have given us will be fulfilled in each and every one of our life i thank you lord for everyone those who have received this word this evening and i pray a blessing in their career in their studies in their families in the ministry and wherever god you have given them the canaan the promised land help them to inherit in jesus name i pray amen amen god bless you thank you Thank you Pastor Ashish Abraham for sharing wonderful word of God in this time. I hope you all all enjoyed.
I hope you are all blessed with the word of God. May all come to the presence of God in this time once again. The word of God which was spoken to us in this time. Can we all submit our hearts to the living God? Can we give ourselves to him? Yes. As the word says very clearly, to endure that promise in our life, we need that faith. With the faith, we need that patience to wait upon that God. Especially the 15 blessing points which we are continuously meditating from the 31st night. It will happen and all your promises will be fulfilled one day. God is faithful to do great things in your life. You just need that patience, that waiting period, the presence of God. Can we spend two or three minutes in the presence of God wherever you are and just lift up your voices to heaven above and just submit yourself to that living God. Father, here I am. Father, here I am. Father, here I am. Jesus, you are the one. I will wait for you, Lord. I will wait for you. Of course, my life may be having so many struggles, so many situations, so many hurdles which I cannot pass on, which I cannot think about. But Father, I still believe in your promise. We still believe in your promise. We still believe in all the promises which you have given to us. You are the God who will enlarge. You are the God who will do abundance of blessing. You are the God who blesses each and everyone, Jesus. Lord, we worship you and we praise you in this time. Or each and everyone in the name of Jesus, wherever they are, Lord, Help them, Lord, to be in your presence, Lord. Help them, Lord, to wait each and every day of their life in the name of Jesus, Father, Lord. All the people, all the brothers and sisters, all our friends, Father, Lord, who are praying right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, you bless them. Lord, you bless them. Lord, you bless them, Father, Lord. Whatever the situations they are facing, Lord, let your promised word speak to them, Father, Lord, in this, in this time. And let them be blessed in this time in the name of Jesus, Lord. Give us that patience and that faith to be waiting upon you more and more and more and more Father Lord because one day you are a faithful God. Everything works together for the one who loves you. Lord you have prepared so many great things for each and every person. The eye cannot see, the ear cannot heard, the man's heart cannot conceive in their heart. That much great things you have planned for your loved people. Our Father as we are loving you, as all people you are loving you let them be blessed. Let them have that great endurance and the great hope in you more and more jesus we thank you and we praise you once again lord in this time or we surrender each and everyone once again and especially this complete week may your grace and mercy and favor be upon each and every person but continuously the people students who are studying the people who are going for job especially we pray for the protection of all the people who are traveling and all the people who are working in the emergency sector our father help them or you be with them Continuously bless them, Jesus. We send them. And we also pray for Pastor Ash Abraham for sharing this word today. Or bless him, bless his ministry, bless his family, Lord. May his family and his ministry be a blessing to millions of people all around the country. We thank you, Jesus, once again. We praise you and we worship you. And we surrender this time into your hands, Lord. We give all the glory and honor to you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. By the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Love, us, love of our Father and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us today and forevermore. Amen. Amen. May God bless you all. Have a great day. Have a great time. Meet you all tomorrow morning again at 6 o'clock. Zoom prayer, dawn prayer. Please do attend. We continuously be, do, be in the fellowship. May God bless you once again. Thank you all for joining. God bless you all.